Welcome to the Ivan Street Boat Area. Please park at the Portland Boathouse located at 403 Southeast Carruthers. Please only use the designated parking spots for the Portland Boathouse and do not use the parking lot to the east. Walk down Southeast 4th towards the green building. Bring all of your paddling items, but not more than is necessary. Turn the corner after the green building. The locked lot is to the left. Put your face mask on and sanitize your hands before entering the gate. The lock will be undone by the certifiers and coaches. Close the gate after you, but don't lock it. Respect the right-of-way arrows on the ground. Walk through the area in a counterclockwise manner. Wasabi's outriggers are down the gravel towards the water. Decide which people will touch what items and who will carry the nose and tail. Remain in the positions when handling all the parts. All of the wasabi locks are the same combo that unlock our dragon boats and OCs. Unlock the slings. Relock the cable after they are removed. Set up the slings close to the racks, two set about 10 feet apart, one in between them and closer to the rack. Leave space in the walkway for people to pass. Unlock the canoe at the nose. Allow the cable to come off the nose and then relock the lock to just one side of the nose cable. Go to the back of the canoe. Slip the tail off the canoe. Let the cable lie on the ground. Unleash the canoe if it has leashes. Gently put the leashes on the back side of the canoe, making sure the metal doesn't hit the boat. Agree who will lift the nose and tail. Lift the boat onto the slings. The ama is stored behind the canoe on the rack. Place it on the third sling, making sure it doesn't hit the ground. Unlock the white box. The labeled iacos are located inside. Note the shape of the iacos that go in front and back. Iacos generally go into the canoe first and then are attached to the ama. Set up the canoe and carry it down to the water as your instructor tells you to. Getting on your canoe safely takes some practice. Here are some good rules of thumb. Make sure your hand, foot, or leash are connecting you to your canoe at all times. Sit alongside your canoe on the dock. Place your left leg in the left footwell. Place your left hand on the left gunnel and your right hand next to your hip. Lift your butt and slide over in one fluid movement, shifting your weight left as soon as you can. Keep your right foot on the dock to balance until you shove off. Make sure your blade is close to you and that your foot is still on the dock when you reach. Push off. Paddling left is safer, but paddling right helps you get away from the dock. When you're moving slow, your rudder is less effective, but correction strokes are more effective. Use draws, pries, and 45 degree strokes to maneuver, slowly, towards the dock. 
Aim towards the dock when you're 10 feet out. At the last minute, push hard on your left pedal to drift into the dock. Place your right foot on the dock first before reaching. When getting out, make sure your right foot is on the dock, right hand is on the dock, and you maintain pressure on the left gunwale with your left hand as you swing your butt onto the dock. Keep your leash, hand, or foot on the dock as you get your gear and wait for another person to carry. You can swing the body of your canoe onto the dock as long as the rudder hangs off the back. When you get back to the racks, sanitize your hands and put your mask back on. Use the buckets, sponges, simple green soap, and river water to wash your boat. Wash all of the common touch points, gunnels, seat, storage straps, nose and tail, yakos, and ama insertion points. Leave the soap on for a minute or so before rinsing. Use the sprayer to rinse the soap off. Take the boats apart, staying at the same locations as when you built the boat. Touch only the items that you touched before. Make sure that the ama never touches the ground. Set it gently in the sling. Wash the slings at the common touch points. Empty the soapy water in the weeds. Return the slings and lock them. Lock the white box after returning all items to it. Replace the cable to the back of the boat first. Restrap the boat, making sure that the metal part does not sit directly on the boat. Replace the cable on the nose of the boat and lock it.
when leaving the property, only have one person touch the gate and lock it. 